Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Ganja Bear, and I'm back with another Gourmet with Ganja. Hey, today, you probably already read the title, but if you did, we finna be whipping up some stuffed bell peppers. And what you're gonna need for this today is some uh, a bell pepper, some bell peppers, of course. You're gonna need some rice, you're gonna need some mozzarella cheese, you're gonna need some tomatoes, onion, some tomato sauce of some sorts, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna see why I said of some sorts, because what I have isn't really tomato sauce, but it is, but it isn't, but you're gonna see what I'm saying. And then uh, mushrooms, whatever you wanna go inside the stuffed pepper, you can customize it up, you know what I'm saying? Put some zucchini in that bitch, put some motherfucking, whatever you want in that bitch, put it in, you feel me? You gotta whip it up. Some garlic, preferable, you know what I'm saying? And ground beef, or you can use sausage, but I prefer ground beef. But, you know what I'm saying? What you're gonna wanna do is, Take that bell pepper. This is one of the first steps, you know what I'm saying? You gotta prep, you gotta prep, you gotta prep. Let me show y'all. You gotta take the top off the bell pepper and just twist that mofo. Just twist that mofo. It rinse it out. And you know, you know, you know the best part about this? It's fast, easy. And cheap, you feel me, bro? We eating good and paying less around in bed. You know what I'm saying? Like for real life. This all this shit right here probably cost everything together. It's probably like a little thirty dollar meal. You feel me? Maybe, maybe a little thirty dollar meal. But really, thirty dollars broke down. You know what I'm saying? In multiple. This really like shit. Like depending on how many people you feeding. Right now, probably be like shit, like five dollar per person. So I like that. I don't know, bro. But look. I'm not good at math. All I know is this is a cheap ass meal and it's fucking easy to make and you can whip this shit up at the crib at any time. But look, we're finna get that ground beef whipped up. I already got everything prepped and chopped up. So all I gotta do is really cook the ground beef and stuff them peppers. I already got the peppers, all my peppers. Uh, I got them all opened up. But yeah, we got the... Uh, tomatoes and onions right here all chopped up and ready and we got some parmesan mixed with uh mozzarella and then we got some pasta sauce because i don't have any like tomato sauce but this is tomato sauce and it's really kind of better than using normal tomato sauce i mean tomato paste tomato paste is what you need my bad not sauce tomato paste but you, I think it looked up. Looked up. This works just as good because it's some of everything. It's tomato paste. It's tomato sauce. You feel me? It's puree. But I'm like fuck. You know what I'm trying to say, bro? It's everything you need. It's everything you need plus some. Is what I'm trying to get to. You feel me? But but I'm finna get this ground beef cooked up. I'm gonna be back to stuff them peppers up. Cause I don't wanna just sit here and let this beef cook up. And you just gonna have to hear all that sizzling and shit. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, everybody, we back. We got that ground beef drained out, drained up, you feel me? Now, now this is where the fun begins. This is where the fun begins. So you wanna add in your vegetables. I wouldn't add in to the, the tomatoes to the end cause I like for my tomatoes to be a little bit more on oh no, a Fresh side, cooking them, make them a tad bit more mushy. I'm still gonna cook them, but like, not as long, you feel me? As I'm gonna cook the tomato, I mean, mushroom and onion. But, gotta whip this up. Make sure you season your shit too, of course. I'm just not finna tell y'all the seasonings I use. I ain't finna put y'all on game like that, like that. You feel me? I'm already putting you on game. You feel me? You can't let you, you don't need no other seasonings now. Cause when I when I have my own establishment and shit, y'all gonna y'all gonna know how I whipped it up, and it's not gonna be special no more. You feel me? Like when y'all come to that Ganja Bear food truck, hey, you, you, you just gotta know me. Hey, hey, hey. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but you you know what I'm saying though. You know what I'm saying. Bro, I'm gonna get this seasoned up. And 
Then we're gonna add that rice into there. And then a nice amount, but not too much, of tomato. Of the, let me show you. I'm gonna show you. Feel me? Like a nice amount, but not too much. Nice amount, but not too much. You don't want to put a whole bottle in that bit. You ain't making spaghetti. You feel me? All right, yeah, I need to put a little bit more. I need to put a little bit more. Way more rice and beef than I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, I need to put way more. But don't put a whole bottle. You don't need a whole fucking bottle, you know what I'm saying? Usually you want to you moisten it up. You want to moisten it up. Make sure you ain't got no dry ass rice and beef. Taste, give her a little taste. See what the season is hitting on. See how, how she, see how she coming along. So far, that bitch hit it. You know what I'm saying? That bitch hit it. But need to add a little bit more, a little bit more seasoning after adding all that rice in. Now, I feel like it's time to add in them tomatoes. I'm gonna add a little bit, tad bit more, a little, little tad bit more salt, a tad bit more salt. I need to get a better setup for this situation. I'm trying my hardest, you feel me? This video probably is so shitty, but you feel me, man? I'm just, I'm trying to make, I'm trying to make some shape with what I got. I need to give me a little camera, man. My homie's sick. We both sick. But pretty soon I'm gonna have the shit to go. I'm gonna have the shit, right? I'm gonna have to, right? But after you, you whip this up, you're gonna throw this little rice and beef concoction gonna stuff them bell peppers that's what you're gonna do you're gonna fucking stuff those bell peppers up with this goodness that you just got whipped up let's get to that though let's let's stuff these bell peppers well let me add the tomatoes and i gotta season it up a little bit more and never enough seasoning until it is I don't want to put too much though. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Can't go crazy. All right, yeah, that's bit right now. That bit right. All right. Get y'all a better view. What I got cracking over here? I got them bell peppers right here. You gonna stuff them up? Stuff them up. Fill them to the brim. I'm tripping. I should have had the oven on. The oven was not on. But now the oven is on. Have the oven on, guys. Heat that fucking oven up. 350. Or really, 400. 400. You can push it to 400. I'll push it to 400. Not even 350. Got to up the ante. Go up the ante. You should probably, you know what I'm saying? Be way more clean when you're doing this, but I'm trying to hurry up for the sake of the bed. Get this shit done. Oh, 
And them bitches already look like you can, you know what I'm saying? No, I already throw down on this bitch. What? You know what I'm saying? Like, what you tell? Hold up, hold up. Hold up. You telling me you want to already throw down on that? Whew. Like, hold up. You want to already throw down on that? Yo. You probably can't even see it that good, but he bitch is looking right. He bitch is looking right. We're going to stuff them, stuff them, though. You know what I'm saying? Make sure they... They all the way to the top. You ain't trying to skimp nobody. You ain't trying to skimp nobody. I'm gonna make sure everybody eat right. But yeah, all right. Now that we got them stuffed up, though, you know what I'm saying? We are gonna add that concoction of uh, parmesan and mozzarella on top. Season on the top. Put some smoked paprika. Wherever the smoked paprika may be. Just had it in my hand. That's why. Here we go. All right. Here we have it, people. With photo of it. You know what I'm saying? With photo of it. What are you finna see after the oven? I'll be back. Hey, hey, before, before the oven. Hey, this is what they looking like after. You feel me? Hey, I look you kept them in there a tad bit too long, but they ain't even tripping. Them bitches looking fine. Boy, them bitches looking right. They looking right. I didn't tell y'all how long y'all should keep them in there. Uh, you should leave them on 400 for a good 15 minutes, I'll say, like a good 10, 15 minutes. And then you want to do like three, five minutes on broil to get the cheese nice and crispy. You know what I'm saying? You really want to bake it to get the, uh, to get the bell pepper a little soft, you feel me? And then you want to broil it to get that cheese nice and crispy. But hey, man, if you stick to the end of this video, I want to say thank you. For real, for real, you was a G, man. You was a G, cause it's probably a shitty ass cooking video, but you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the gourmet with ganja shit right. But much love, as always. Hope you smoking good, eating good. Save me a pack of money. I'm out there, bit peace.